No, bad. Don't. Ow. I was getting greedy. I thought I could just tank right through it, but it takes a little bit of finesse at the end. Let's see if we can find a way to break this. I would like one blue rock in exchange for some purple ones. This time, everything's going to go perfectly to plan. I can live with this. This is a good choice. More attack speed. Healing is less effective. Transmute an item by hitting it. One time per floor. And the curse fairy, because we're probably going to deal with a lot of altars. I'm not going to pick that thing up because it just curses me every floor, and I don't really want that. But now that we have everything we need, we're ready to get started. We got the shop right away. My strategy today is just going to be insanely careful. Really great options. Don't know what i do without you. My first enemies are blue slime and a skeleton. Again, I'm just going to be really, really careful and try not to take any damage at all. That's going to be easier said than done because all sorts of enemies can spawn in all sorts of rooms and I can walk into spiky things like that. I just took the first damage. And second damage, walking into that spiky thing. I probably lost, I don't know, one sixth of my health walking into things I shouldn't be touching. But at least I have this relic. Kill more throw damage at low health. I don't ever want to be at low health, but in case I get there, well, fine. That is an extra three damage already. I also forgot I had the hammer that can transmute relics. I probably would have hit that one. Correction, I absolutely would have hit that one. Did get a key though, which I'm going to use to stupidly open this, hoping that I get a key or key ring out of this. That didn't work at all, but this certainly will, so we open that, and there's a bomb and a key, which we can use to open this, at which point we can use this to get rid of one of our curses. I was hoping to do this floor without taking damage, but I kinda wish I had a key now. Never seen the floor of just these things, normally they have the big ones there. I'm gonna sacrifice some bombs here. I should have explored the rest of the floor first, but I'm committed now. We can get rid of our curse with this, so I'm okay with this choice. And our chest is going to give us a potion that drops bombs continuously, which is as dangerous as it sounds. What would I do without all these shop options? Seriously, they can't even give me a key. And this seems going to be a little bit more difficult than some of the other ones, mostly because of this ground thing. But a little electricity went a long ways. Good news, this scammer normally has keys. Give me everything you got. 400 gold is actually a lot for me these days. So what I'm going to do instead is very, uh, dangerously, this. Oh, there's a key ring. Perfect. You know, I like when my stupid dangerous ideas actually work out. Hope you don't mind a few bombs in your shop. I know I don't. And our relic is actually one I like. Deal even more damage in your critical strike. We also have the item eater curse, which I don't love. Every 20 enemies, I lose a key or a bomb. Jokes on them though, I'm not gonna have any keys or bomb for them to eat. If we just wanna go for crazy swing damage, that's tempting. That was gaining maximum health when killing enemies. Let's go for swing damage. I wanna be a glass cannon. What are our curses? Shop costs are converted to health. That kinda hurts. All potions automatically drink on pickup. Well, I've had worse things. Well, my damage for right now is 42, but 16 of that is from my Sun Eater Mace, so this might actually work out not bad. As long as I stop walking into things I shouldn't be walking into, I'm the only thing that ever hurts me. This shop is hidden behind rocks, I don't have a bomb for that. But already my damage is pretty high. Due to my extra critical hits plus my Sun Eater Mace, I can two-shot most things, and that's pretty good. Well, there's another key, but I kind of need a bomb at this point. Is this giving me more swing damage? Increases swing size, but decreases damage. I want damage over size. And now we got boots that help us walk on fire, which I guess we're just going to take. And another opportunity to get rid of a curse. Only 25 hearts. Hopefully it's one of the major ones. Any of those, I won't mind losing. They all kind of annoy me. And I foresee this going super well. The dragon that I don't really know how to beat. So we're just going to kind of uh, glass cannon our way through it as best we can. Oh, I like how that thing's stuck actually, because now I don't think more is going to spawn. Not as many more. So far, so good. I am cautiously optimistic. I've only taken down like one tenth of its health, if that, but I think we got this unlock. It makes a world of difference if you actually pay attention to what you're doing. All right, we got the second head up and doing stuff, but I'm doing pretty good, half health. And we're up to three heads now, so I get to pay extra, extra attention to things and try not to get touched by one of the many. <gasps> I forgot I could fall down holes. So there's the first damage I've taken. Shockingly, it was from myself. I think it actually gets easier the more heads you get because they seem to not really do anything anymore. So you're dead. Look at all the cool stuff I get. Oh, is that a new pet? What is this? Rare hatchling, Eidolon, hatched by the collector. Or then again, maybe not. He might have to live the rest of his existence in an egg. And honestly, that's probably better than being my friend. I'm gonna take heal when praying at an altar because I'm gonna doing a lot of that for extra damage. Neither of these matter because it all gets converted into damage. Extra 24 damage. Both of these are pretty terrible. Uh, cost health to plant bombs, I will take for now. That one, uh, sometimes plant bombs when taking damage, not gonna happen. What was in the red X room again? I don't really want to go look right now. Hey, my fire boots actually work great for something. I need to remember to be more excited for the light blue chest because gold is actually really valuable in these runs. Here's where my damage is at currently. 
48, 48. Hold on, let's get the bomb out of the way. And 45, 47. It's actually quite high. Like, I'm one-shotting a lot of things. Our relic for the floor, the tent is actually pretty good, but let's change that into hopefully something better. Bigger bombs. Do I want one of those? Yeah, I do. Like I would ever say no to blowing up extra stuff. Right, the first thing we're gonna do, get rid of a curse. That is gonna cost some health. That is worth it. Now we can actually spend gold on stuff again instead of health. We'll also take more health and more swing damage, which puts us up to a total of 54 now. Drop number two has two relics. And before I commit to buying anything, I'm gonna explore the rest of the floor just to make sure I'm making an informed decision. Now to explore this room again. Suspicious. All right, give me that and we'll fight whatever it is that comes out. Oh, that's not really a great one, but we'll take it. All right, now the enemies are spawning. Not too bad of a room so far, though. I can handle this. Oh, never mind. More stuff keeps spawning. This was maybe a bad choice of room. I didn't realize it was actually going to be this hard. Might not have sacrificed all this health had I known it was actually going to be like a difficult room. Okay, we're down to just the red skeletons. Those I can handle because they're pretty easy to dodge and pretty predictable. In the end, I think it was worth it. I did lose my items, though, because I was feeding enemies, but I got some gold. Right, so give me this. We'll get extra healing from that. Well, we'll get gold and food. We'll also take the healing and the key. The pilfers are going to try and take my food now, and I got to be really careful of that. I never really considered that when I took the golden apple. I'm going to get better food, but the pilfers are really going to try and take them from me. And let's get rid of another curse. We'll even get a little bit of healing for this, I think. 25 down. 35 back, so we got 10 healing to get rid of that. Now it only costs health to plant bombs. And we can use altars twice now, so we'll get extra, extra damage. Definitely not touching that. Would you risk 75 gold on this? I would. 1 in 3 chance. Oh, I got it right. That was definitely worth it, because I'm pretty sure this is going to give me more than 75 gold. 295 to start, as long as I don't let those guys take any. All right, they got one piece, but I got 160 gold out of that. Plus, more from that chest. These rooms would normally be kind of stressful, but these guys blow up so easy, they don't take much. And they're very slow. Plus, if you lure them around just right, you can use them to open up secrets. Well, we have a curse removal, at least. This could be a really ugly room if I let it be. So, again, very slowly and carefully. This room also is kind of, like, deceivingly hard, uh, because I'm taking damage. I'm not even sure what's hitting me at this point. Mostly this guy. Oh, what's that thing? Don't hit that. One of the good things about these bigger bombs, though, is you can open up a few things all at the same time. Potion to duplicate all food in a room. I certainly won't say no to that. Please give me a key somewhere. Please give me a key. There's no keys. Relics are overrated anyway. Gain health instead of taking damage. Yes, please. Uh, I think I'm also going to take a bomb. And I would buy things like Rock Smasher, but this is actually going to make up for more than that, so I'm not wasting 350 gold on that. I will need a fish, though. And take more health. I need all the health I can get in this. Then we use this other bomb right about here and hope for a key. We got one single key. Luckily, I don't really like any of the relics here anyway. I'm just going to take the key and move on. So that I can see this. Deal more swing damage at high health. That's going to be a bonus to damage again. What are we at now? 54. For we pick that up. How high does that go? 61. So that's actually like a 10% increase. That's pretty good. This room could have been worse had those been the laser guys. But luckily they're just a stupid electric one. So they can't really do anything unless they're electrocuting me. Or me electrocuting myself, really. Anyways, my damage looks like that. 101. And that'll kill things one hit. I've really got to remember to start putting a better relic into whatever this thing is. This little spider room is about the last one of the floor. Now I'm free to do whatever I want. So I'm going to open up the shop and hope I get one more key plus some other stuff. I'm going to need three keys actually. So hopefully there's a key ring. There's no key ring, but I'm going to double all the food in here and get two free foods. And then let's take more health. Now it's a choice between this relic, this relic, or this shrine. I think we're just going to go ahead and gamble and take this relic, which is a good one. That's definitely going to help my damage. Higher chance to critical strike. I guess we could also hope for a secret. Nope. Before we drop in here, I'm drinking this. My first hit's going to heal me. Oh, I hate this one. It takes so long. But with my extra critical hits and stuff, it might not be too bad. Yeah, I'm doing plenty of damage to it, considering. Actually doing so much damage, I've already got it down to half health, and, like, it hasn't taken long at all to get there. Can I put these back on with my with my boots? Yeah, I can. Okay, this will work out okay, then. Never realized I could do that. But they can also light me on fire, should I let them somehow. So, that's okay. Whoops. Don't know that didn't hit me. Got away with one there. Stop putting out my torches. Got the second end making an appearance, and he's trying to put out my torches again, so we're just gonna kind of roll with this. Would help if I could move faster. It takes so long to walk from one side of this place to the other, but he's almost dead. No, bad. Don't. Ow. I was getting greedy. I thought I could just tank right through it, but... It's a little bit of finesse at the end. Well, it actually gives me some healing and everything. Not bad. What do we get now? Recipe discovered. Holy glaze. Two bosses down. Two more to go. What do we got? I don't need to make a throw size. We'll take more health. Both of these turn into damage anyways. So, killing enemies destroys a relic. That's not happening. 
Only one blessing is available to alters, and that's fine because they'll turn into one thing for me anyway. Damage is up to 73 currently. What's this guy? Increased blessing options at alters. That doesn't really matter to me, does it? I'm gonna clear out the floor before I commit to buying anything. Buy what you need, not what you want. This is sort of an uncomfortably small floor, especially for a knight that does tons of damage. Okay, we got him dead, got a key. Skeleton first. Actually, if the knight's gonna continue lunging at me, might as well just light him on fire using my boots. I just did a critical hit of 129 on the bug and it killed it one hit. What you can see is a lot more than I can do to the knights. But if they burn, then they do lots of damage. Hey, stupid. How are you enjoying the corner? I'd almost feel bad for him, but I don't feel bad for anything. You know what? Let's take more damage. I'm feeling it. Brigham uses altar twice to get two more blessings for damage. I mean, it heals me anyways, so... I lost throw damage, I lost throw speed. That's fine by me. Plus 48 damage, you're up to 90. Oh, that ground thing's gonna be a problem. I just gotta stay well away from that. Whoops, and kill everything I can as quickly as I can. Alright, skeletons are done. Uh, this thing's gonna take some extra patience. Unless... Yeah, okay, I can just one-shot it if I'm close. I'm definitely doing enough damage now, where as long as I get close to things, I can kill them very easily. It's just a matter of dodging all the things while I get to them. Back to the shop. One key, one bomb. One transmute, hope for a better relic. Return damage, but amplified. That's kind of interesting, but not really... Well, I don't really have a choice. I'm taking it. Gain temporary damage and pick you up gold. No, I don't think so. What does this one do? Increase health and damage. Perfect. Up to 96 damage, which is a lot. 382 health, 390 probably at max. Shop number two has everything you see here. So let's get rid of a curse to start. Then maybe just buy a bomb for now, because I know I'm going to need one eventually. And since I just found an extra one, we're going to put one right above there, and it's going to blow up a whole bunch of stuff for me. Oh, double secret. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Thanks. Oh, didn't even see all those. Wow. Okay, get up the ladder. Yikes, that was a scary room. Free blessing. I'll take that. That's going to be more damage for me. There we go. Now we're over 100. 104 damage, plus more critical hits, plus extra damage critical hits. So when I hit things now... I'm not one-shotting them, but two, which isn't bad, unless I can't reach them. This room, not really an easy one, because there's so many things to dodge. And good news, the game devs are thoughtful enough to leave minefields in this dungeon too. So I gotta be careful where I step here, I'll get blown up. Alright, these floors are definitely getting harder. They weren't bad for a while, but if I lose focus for one second now, I get destroyed. Alright, another gambling room, my favorite. Alright, before we get to that, let's blow up a bunch of stuff over there. Because I needed some keys, and that worked out really nicely. And then this one... Well, you know what? Can't win them all. But now I can get my newest relic, which, nope, that's not gonna happen. But we're gonna get the super bomb, I guess, which I don't know if I want, but we're gonna get it. Plus it'll give me an extra chest if I do that, which in turn gives me extra gold, which is great because the shop is right below me. It's my next stop. A few pretty good things at this shop we want to take. First off, let's get rid of a curse because I don't want to carry any more of those around than I have to. Then we're gonna take this, a chance at avoiding death. 400 gold is expensive. But that's going to be cheap if it does save me from dying. Well, let's go get some healing and get more damage. I like how they're one in the same, really. Well, we'll start with maybe one for now. Do I want to take on another curse right now? I guess the two I have aren't that bad. Hopefully this was not. Well, decreasing the amount of gold received kind of hurts. But we'll worry about that, whoops, later. Out of all the rooms in existence, it doesn't really matter what's in them. The small ones are the worst. The small ones are the ones I need to avoid. Don't think we're going to be grabbing that relic. Some pretty cool stuff at the store. We're going to wait until we explore the rest of the floor to commit to anything. 110 damage. This relic, however, only requires one key to get to. And that one's not too bad, actually, considering I get a little bit of healing in every room. But let's do better. I want damage. Leeches light from enemies slain by bombs. That one's kind of interesting too. But I do not have enough bombs to make that work. I've got one currently and I'm not going to kill enemies with bombs because I just don't have enough. So tempting to drum up the keys required to open that, but I don't think I'm going to. That's expensive. But a massive 347 gold to my name on this floor. And simply since we have a boss fight coming up, golden stake. Maybe an extra bomb for now because we'll see if we can find some new openings in the ground somewhere. This room kind of seems like a good place to start. Go bombs, go. Well, we replaced the bomb, so whatever, we can do that one more time. Got some more healing. No idea what boss this is going to be, but I'm kind of nervous about it. My health isn't super high. Gonna have to play this one super carefully. Because damage is all good and all, I can actually one-shot the balls, but it's not gonna- Whoops, it's gonna be things like that that are gonna really blow me. I just can't help but touch things. Oh, that was close. I am pretty happy with my incredible damage, though. It's gonna make this way easier than it would otherwise be. I'm actually taking huge gouges out of its health every time I hit something. So, whoa, if I do this carefully enough... Whoa, Kate can't touch the ones on the ground either. I get it. I knew that. I've done this before. I usually just am way overpowered by this point, so I don't really have to think. Yay, healing! 
and that means I know what the last boss is going to be, but I'll have even more damage by then, so I'll be just fine. Midas Touch, obviously turning something into gold. We can almost open Kurt's stash, too. I actually forgot I had another one of these rooms to go for. Chance on it to chain lightning, items will sometimes duplicate themselves. Both are pretty good. I'll take the occasional duplicating item. I need them. This will just be extra damage, which puts us up to now 113, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Items become extra fragile. I could live with that. Okay, so far so good. If it's just these guys, they're pretty predictable. And my damage, right through them. Our relic, increase swing damage, throw size, throw speed. I'll take that extra swing damage all day long. 125 now. And at the rate we're taking bites out of the bosses, this should make things easy. But here's an easy choice. One key for two keys plus a bomb. Found this shop. We're maybe gonna drink this. Recover health proportional to missing health. Hopefully that'll give me a big boost of healing. Good enough. That's 250. That's lots for me. And I'm fast. Come on. And lots of healing. All I really want right now is healing. I feel like I've got all the relics I need. More is always better, but healing for now. The first robo I've seen. And once you have them on fire, they're much easier to defeat. This saw a critical hit of 241. I feel like that's really, really high considering this dungeon. Ow. Do we take more damage or do we remove some curses? Let's take a little more damage because the curses aren't actually that bad yet. And maybe now we'll remove one. We're still getting healed a little bit for doing this. Right, plus I get double blessings now. So I get super blessings. 147 damage. Also, just found a potion that will remove a curse for 75 damage. Debatably even worth it at this point, but we're gonna do it. Then wander all the way back to the shop to buy some stuff. Mostly just a key and some healing. I'm also gonna buy this. I feel like these rooms are gonna get worse and worse now. This room actually isn't as bad as the last one, but still fairly annoying. My damage is high enough that it's pretty much carrying me through all this. These levels would be a nightmare if it wasn't for the damage but i can just go like this and pretty much walk through anything because look at my throw damage by comparison i have to hit them so many times just to do a little bit of damage and overstocks a shop uh, i feel like it's a little late for that what <gasps> oh yeah we'll just go ahead and blow that up then that's fine we didn't want a relic anyway this room is not going to be a lot of fun for me i can already tell and the strange thing is we already killed one of the knights oh that was okay cool i think we're under control now maybe not wow okay cool uh right Let's kill this thing. That was stressful. I don't even know what I want to buy anymore. I mostly want to spend it all on healing, but let's see what's out there in the big wide world. I'll maybe buy the Troll Sweat, just because it's going to give me quite a bit of healing, and it's healing over time, so I can just wander around and get healed. And... Oh, okay, I didn't even see that guy down there. Cool. So we'll take care of him, and then we'll go get some more healing, because I'm almost dead. So let's take the big meat, because that's worth quite a bit of healing. Then we're going to take the fish. Actually, we'll maybe buy one of these, because then we get a little bit of everything, and I want a little bit of everything. And then, yeah, a steak is fine. 250 health, we'll work with that. I'm so glad I have the popcorn, so items will sometimes duplicate themselves, because that's popping frequently. Oh, I didn't see the second one. Yeah, dummy, you can't get me over there. This room was a nice little break, actually. They're rubbing so hard. I'm gonna burn a key on this scammy lady, just in case she might have something worthwhile. Tempting, but no. A shrine room? Do we want to waste our key right now? Yeah, we sure do. I'm sure we'll find plenty more of those. Give us more damage. Reduce maximum health. That one kind of hurts, but we'll get extra, extra damage for that. 166. Let's do one more because I'm greedy. That opened Kurt's stash. I forgot I was even carrying that. So our damage is up to 184, which is ridiculous considering where we're at. But I do have some curses I should probably get rid of. Oh, we get more blessings that are going to turn into more damage. 222 damage, and we're not even at full health. 222 is absurd for this. And I'm going to eat this. Averages the number of keys and bombs held. That's going to put us right in the middle. 10 and 10, much better. And a hoarding pill for, yeah, off you go, little guy. Which in turn gave us another blessing for even more damage. It was definitely worth coming in this room. 240 damage. Plus extra critical damage, plus extra critical hits. That's kind of like all I can eat bombs and keys right now. So if I hit the knight, whoop, 220 damage is still a lot, considering knights are so armored. We're going to give it to this, and then I'm going to start paying attention again. Because while I do a lot of damage, I can still die. It wouldn't actually be that difficult. Oh, that, yep, here's a prime example of that. It's always these little rooms... Always the worst. Alright, oh, remember that health I had? I'm gonna need a whole bunch more. Definitely gonna buy that potion, because, you know what, I can blow myself up with big healing. But I'm also definitely gonna buy the fish. Drink the potion, drop the bomb, get hit by it. There's 67 healing, which got taken away because I got hit by the bomb a secondary time. Fun. You want more swing damage and low health? Right, I've got to stop breaking things. That would have actually been to my benefit right now. Hi, yeah, I'll take all the healing you've got. Thanks. Just gotta tell myself, stop being stupid. There's a lot of rocks to blow up on this floor, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. There's gonna be a lot of items hidden in here. I don't know why sometimes things are so hard to dodge, but they just are sometimes. There's extra keys and bombs and healing. I'll probably get hit by this thing one more time, no, because I'm stupid. I am actually finding quite a bit of healing in the rocks, believe it or not, despite my low health. Would take a curse chest, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't really think it can give me anything that's gonna be worth an extra curse at this point. Two hits for that guy. 
Four keys for this door. I'm rich anyways. Free food at the shop. I actually really like that. Just gotta get to it before the pilfer does. Okay, got it. Then we explode the transmute and hopefully we get some more healing. Oh, is this what I think it is? Restores all missing health. I need 50 more gold. Commence operation. Blow everything up. Found a secret. Full of more bombs. I was hoping for a gold room. Got the gold I needed for whatever it was I was looking for. Can remove a curse with that if I want to take 75 damage. Not going to sacrifice any health here. That would be stupid. Oh, right. I get a full heal potion. Or we might as well drink this now to remove a curse. Take some damage. Buy this and we're going to drink it right before the boss. These rooms with the knights really aren't a lot of fun. I bet we're doing critical heads at almost 500 now. I didn't mean to get hit by that knight. I was watching the damage readouts. Gotta be a little more careful because I think one more hit might kill me. So far so good. I'm just going to keep the knights way up there. Like on the edge of my reach basically. The knights are dead but I stepped on the spikes right there. So I'm very close to death. Luckily I think I'm at the boss now. So we're going to go ahead and drink this. Get my health back. And also top my damage all the way up to 242. So this should be what I know and love. I also should be able to melt this pretty quick just given my damage. Yep, look at those gouges. Whoa, don't touch that though. Alright, we're just gonna kind of tank our way through this. Wish our attack speed was a little faster though. Definitely seeing some decent sized critical hits though. Gotcha. Alright, now she'll come in. We'll jump over, sort of. Still counts. But you know what? Those critical hits at almost 500 really doing it for me because it's that easy. That was the final boss, and it's that easy. Or I should say, I think that's a final boss. I've never defeated all four in the other mine before. But thanks to my extreme damage, we did it. Altar in a bottle sounds interesting. King for a day. Uh, do I open this or do I talk to a birdman? Give me the treasure. Purple things, blue currencies, a new pet probably. What do we got? Rare hatchling, lesser demon. Can I have a greater demon? I feel like I always get the short end of the stick. What do you want? Are you ready to cast off your possessions and return? No, there's a glowing thing on the ground. Other mine crown one. Crown bestowed to those that meet the challenge of the other mine. Reverts back to its default state upon death. You never die. But yeah, I'm ready to go. My damage absolutely carried me through that. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't have made it. Can I go through this one now? 